Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Red Sox. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. And a ton of stuff happened in the AI world for AMD and Google specifically. We both own the well, we both own Google. I own AMD. But is this a sell the news event? Because these these stocks are topping out. We're gonna take a look. <laughs> Two stupid guys trade stocks. You, uh, how much Google you got? Uh, I forget exactly how many shares I own. It's, I think, uh, around an eight, ten thousand dollar position somewhere in that ballpark. Okay. So I think I own about 135 shares of Google and 225 shares of AMD, right? There right. was a huge boost this week for a specific reason. So now yeah. we're going to see, hey, are these stocks going to be like Microsoft, where ChatGPT gets you know, on its thing, and then it's just a great year, or is this a little bit of a topping event and a kind of get out, take your cash, buy in for a lower price? Um, If you're an AI stock person, then this is definitely for you. So AMD unveiled its latest AI chip taken on NVIDIA. They do this all the time, right? And then... The my one of my CEO heroes, Lisa Su, who's a <laughs> badass, um, yeah. said that this market is going to top 400 billion by 2027, which is you know obviously very close. Um, Meta, OpenAI, and Microsoft all said they are going to use AMD's newest chip, uh, as okay. Nvidia only won the market, very very overpriced. Um, if it's good enough, it's going to lower cost, computing, that kind of stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Big companies are already signing on. I believe Oracle also already bought chips from AMD. So AMD had a great day. Google also had a great day until something happened. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. So this is AMD. Um, I, I didn't really need to circle it. It's pretty obvious. Let me, yeah, um, yeah, it's a big bar. Yeah. <laughs> Let me move so you can see the volume. But you know, we, we, we went from uh, under 120 to hitting 131 now we're back around 129 nice. i am gonna spoil this i feel like i'm i'm not i'm not 100 convinced yet. i need to see what happens but i may sell covered calls above 132 okay as an amd fanboy i think they're very overpriced so all right interesting um, all right. this is google you know they came out with their gemini ai you see, oh my gosh, this isn't compete with chat GPT. If you did not see the video, we're going to show just like 45 seconds of it because it's unreal. It's incredible. There's a caveat as the rumor came out yesterday. It was confirmed. But you can see that we actually went down after the announcement, right? Yeah, now we had a big gap there. up though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me get this because this is pretty funny. So Gemini AI, it is, it's supposed to compete with chat GPT. They released a six minute video that is about to play. And you can see how crazy this is, because this is disgusting if this was All right, testing Gemini. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Like 20 more seconds. Hmm. What if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes. A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. This is crazy. Ducks are closely right. related to geese and swans. Yeah. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. So it is more common for ducks to be brown, black, or white. And then he does are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. It looks like blue ducks are more right. common than I thought. Incredible. That's what Would I'm this trying float? to show here. Would I'm not float? sure what material... He squeaks it, it's definitely going to float. Right? That's, That's an, amazing. It actually has a sense of humor, too, which is pretty cool. Better than it's crazy. You. Except this. One day later. Oh my God! What are they? The next freaking Nikola? <laughs> Jesus Christ! They come to go out and put a fake demo out of there. They gonna roll so, it downhill next. If you just type in Google uh, AI demo, these are the results. Uh, top, um, dope. So essentially, this is <laughs> this is what happened. So it's still incredible. 
but for the purposes of this demo, latency has been reduced and Gemini outputs have been shortened for brevity. So we have okay. no idea what amount of time went in between each thing that happened. All right. Okay. It's still incredible. People are, are yeah. nitpicking this. It's still pretty wild. Um, so those are the authentic responses is what they're saying. They just shortened the time like lag that it took the Gemini AI to generate those responses. Is this what they're trying to say as far as it being fake? Google admitted when asked for comment that the video demo didn't happen in real time. Uh, okay. We spoke and Robin said use still image frames from raw footage and then wrote our text prompts to which Gemini responded, which is quite okay. different than what Google seemed to be suggesting. Yeah, yeah I would say so. It's like not a conversation is essentially what's happening. Yeah, this isn't a uh, one point something trillion dollar company. That, 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 that's some crap I'd expect from like a Kathy Woods startup. <laughs> yeah, it's disappointing. Now, I got to see, I think Google still has a lot in it. If it's just brevity issues, this is brand new information. This is going to get fixed. I'm assuming we're going to get a more realistic scenario. Someone will recreate this so we can kind of see what's actually happening. But this is Microsoft, right? Yeah. 75% mm -hmm. um, up from the year. That is from the low to the high, not if you look at year to date. Okay? Wild. This is the cues. <laughs> yeah. 51%. Yeah. So it outperformed the cues. And this is the same thing with Google, 66%. Once again, this is lows of the year to highs. So if you look at this now, okay. that's not the correct percentage. So I need to see, is this something that I want to hold on to? Because Microsoft got a hell of a kick when ChatGPT started happening, right? Google kind of rode on their skirt tails a little bit. They got a kick as well, but now they have their own. I will say Google and AI is not going too well when they also released their bard who did an incorrect fact for a NASA satellite that the NASA had to correct in a tweet. Kind of embarrassing. Um, yeah, not great. So Google is on the left. Let me move our faces. Uh, Microsoft is on the right. In your opinion, this is not a great way to analyze, right? We, we could do a whole video on just holding Google. But just <laughs> from this, I want to hold Google to about 150. How are you feeling? Okay. I mean, is your question whether I think Google is a reasonably priced company right now or is yes. it? Um, so I would say, yes. yes, they are reasonably priced. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I, am I looking to add more Google at the current price? No, um, I am I not. With that. I, I, I think we, we've done the comparison before and looked at some of the major tech companies mm -hmm. and on a. Uh, like a free cash flow yield basis, Google was one of the more one of the cheaper companies amongst the large like mega cap tech companies yeah. or stocks. Yeah. And the problem when you have these these wins, like it, it, you just put AI in an article, you can just have a great day on the market. Is it makes covered yeah. calls very difficult. So mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable selling covered calls with Google because I just it could just go out of the water. It's just they they can just release the new video and there's only like one second lag time still incredible so now it's a problem yeah um See, I, I get that and obviously it could be, could be called away but i would tell you that the optimism would be too short term as in like uh, you know i'll say that it announced a product and then the stock goes up 10 percent in a day it's really going to take the stock uh years to earn that additional 10 percent so true you still have a time period in which you could sell those covered calls and kind of make your money back that's generally what i've been doing um, yeah, I would find so, it. I'd find it difficult on Google. I don't find it difficult on AMD. So I love AMD. Here is the competition: Nvidia with a PE of sixty-two, a forward PE of twenty-three, AMD with a PE of a thousand, and a yeah. forward PE of thirty-four point two two. Um, now, Spurs be large though. There has to be something hidden was, in their earnings. It was last the last year. quarter. It, it, yeah. It's not normal. It'll correct itself. But still, I do think uh, covered calls at previous highs of 132 are in my wheelhouse right now. It's something that mm -hmm. I am considering. I would really like to hold these companies forever. Um, I know that you're not a huge fan of AMD, but... It's not that I'm not a huge fan of AMD. I just I, I feel like it's been a lot, quite a long time since I've seen them at a price where I would consider buying them. I mean, remember, I did own them at one point in time, but it was like 
twenty dollars a share. <laughs> yeah, I own them at two dollars. Sold at twelve. Thought it was a genius. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, let us know what you think on if you think uh, Google is going to get back in the AI race and if AMD is worth selling or buying. Because I'm starting to starting to turn a little bit. Have a good one. All right. Yep. Catch you next one.